I wanted to talk to you today about one word that could be actually cutting us off of what we're actually asking for. So I know we say a lot of words. Uh, maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but the words that we're saying creates our life. So today I want to talk about a word that we might want to kind of ixnay or remove totally from our vocabulary. And that word is want. Now, I know we are so used to just saying that word so easily, so quickly, so, you know, it just kind of comes out of our mouths. But think of what actually want and feel the energy of that word and see, does that really feel right for me? Or is it I'm actually closing off what could be actually coming to me? So one of the great things I say um, to people and that I suggest to them is what about switching that word of want to choice? Uh, choice or hoping are two totally different words that are truly a different energy of what you're, what you're hoping will happen in your life. So let's say, for instance, you want a relationship or you want more money or you want a job. All of those things are great and the universe wants to give you those things. Universe, God, Jesus, whoever it is that you believe helps you in your life. Uh, so by choosing that word, it really kind of shuts off what could be coming to you, what the universe wants to be giving to you or co-create with you. So another word, I again, one of the words that I suggest is doing the choice or doing the the hoping. Uh, think of when you say, I am hoping um, that I get a boyfriend. That is totally different feel. That is co-creating with that higher being that's co-creating with you rather than it just being you. So, uh, so think about that. Think about, okay, that word of want, how is that making me feel when I say that? Is that closing me off or is that opening me up to to, you know, so much more possibly something coming to me. So by switching that word uh, and getting that word just totally out of your vocabulary, you'll start seeing things kind of just co-create with you easily. And, you know, that relationship coming to you easily, uh, money coming to you easily, uh, a job doing that also. So I would really recommend to, to you know, re and remind yourself also that, my golly, the words that we say create our lives. So, you know, that what is it that we want in our life? Start acknowledging, you know, I can't st keep saying I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Switch that to, you know, money just constantly comes easily to me or flows easily to me. So, you know, start saying the words that you do want to say also. But remind yourself that, you know, want is a very... uh involved energy word and just switch that to hope or switch that to choice and see what might come for you. It was wonderful talking to you today. I hope to uh, talk to you about another subject tomorrow. Uh, as always, if you share this video, I will make sure I will do a shout out for your, the next video. Uh, I am a Reiki master teacher, access consciousness facilitator and practitioner, and a uh, psychic medium. Uh, so I do offer appointments. I am based in Pittsburgh and you can do appointments over the phone or in person. Next Reiki classes, December 2nd and 3rd and Access Consciousness, December 9th. Uh, for anyone that can't come to Pittsburgh, I am offering a intuition development course, uh, something that I hear over and over people saying, I don't really listen to that voice and I don't know how to listen to it. Or people are saying, I'm hearing it, but I want something different. Interesting how you see, hear that word again. So if you are uh, interested in any of this stuff, uh, intuition development class uh, next Wednesday for only $27. So um, I hope to see you there. Uh, uh, you'll miss a lot if you don't get to come. So uh, what else is possible in your life? Thank you and have a great day. Bye.